Today we're going to give you an overview of the main features of the Neodin 7, and we'll also describe the process of programming and setting up a job for production. In our unboxing video, we loaded components into the tape tray and tube feeders, so now let's turn to the board itself. PCBs are handled inside the Neodin 7 by a three-section automatic rail system. In the manual test section of the programming interface, you can adjust the width of the rails for your board. Also, for boards wider than 160 millimeters, the metal table can be removed to free up additional space for the rails to move. The first job is to set up the various feeders. This section of the interface contains the settings for each feeder. Here we can use the downward looking camera to precisely locate the pickup location. And here we can define the pick height, placement height, pick delay, place delay, and speed parameters. These parameters can be different for each component. Finally, for each component, we want to select the type of vision alignment to be used. The Neodin 7 features flying cameras that measure the position and rotation of each component on its nozzle while the head is in motion, which is pretty cool. And for larger components, we can select the stationary IC camera. When programming a board, the first thing we need to do is the physical location of the first component in the list as the board sits in the machine. To find this, we feed the board in and locate the coordinates of the first component with the camera. Whether we're doing a panelized board or a single board, these coordinates serve as the virtual origin for the board. Once you have that coordinate precisely determined, you can have your PCB layout software export a CSV file in which every component's center is calculated relative to the center of the first component in the list. The next thing we need to do before we move the board is to set up our fiducials, or mark points as they are called in the Neodun 7. These can be traditional copper fiducials or simple circles on the board. We need at least two of them, roughly in two opposite corners of the board. We find them with the camera like this, and then press auto-align to make sure we have the exact center of the fiducial. Now that the machine knows where the components go, we'll tell it which components to use by assigning each component in the list to the appropriate feeder and nozzle. Here, there's some strategy. The machine will produce finished boards much faster if we arrange components so that as many nozzles as possible appear in sequence. This means that we can do up to six picks and six placements each time the head moves to the board, dramatically increasing speed. So that's really all it takes to begin making finished boards on the Neodun 7. Got questions? Give us a call.